today we are going to see components so component is a, a very important parts for any kind of framework not only in the ncs so what is component what component is uh, independent or dependent uh, kind of sub code blocks so we can split our code uh, we can write our own logics within the component so we can say like uh, we can reuse the uh, same component again and again so yesterday i told you about uh, if in html pages if we could to write some headers if you want the same header again and again in other pages at that time we need to copy and paste again and again again and again so in react application or any kind of application which allow support for components so uh, those frameworks give more opportunity to us to reduce the number of lines code and effort so within the component we can write our own logics and html and css so we can just call the component wherever we need at that time uh, it will execute in the similar manner wherever we need and uh, the second one is component is isolation uh, isolated uh, piece of code so it, if you if you don't need uh, the specific section we can just remove the component it automatically removed from the entire application wherever we are implemented when talking about if you can compare to html if you want to remove header uh, from entire application at that time what we need to do we need to uh, keep disturbing all the html pages we need to go one by one html pages we need to remove all the places then only it will reflect right but uh, in react js we have a component if we just uh, remove the particular component it automatically removed from the application so that's the important thing <clears throat> so why we need to use the component as i told uh, uh, it's just a reusable bit of code so that will help us to uh, minimize the <clears throat> developer uh, working uh, load time and uh, increase the productivity of that so there are plenty of components that majorly it classified with two different types uh, that is uh, functional component and class components so these are the two major things this functional component and class component these two things are very uh, mostly used by developers but there are other components there like a pure component higher order component and fragments so we will see one by one so how these components will help us to uh, build our own modules 